February 4th, Pastor saying to us, There is help for you. Our opening scripture comes from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 26. And it came to pass, when God helped the Levites that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. The Bible tells us how David got some Levites to move the Ark of God into a place he had prepared for it in Jerusalem. But something striking that we observe is that the Bible says, God helped the Levites that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. Isn't it amazing? Though the Levites were called to bear the Ark, God helped them to carry out their ministry. God also helped a man named Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. He had gone to battle against the Syrians in alliance with Ahab, the king of Israel. Having no idea that Jehoshaphat was in the battle, the king of Syria instructed his commanders to go after Ahab, the king of Israel. Don't fight anyone else. Just go after King Ahab and kill him. He told them. When his men saw Jehoshaphat, they thought he was the king of Israel and concerned him. The Bible says, Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him. And God moved them to depart from him. 2 Chronicles chapter 18, verse 31. The Bible also tells us about a young king, Uzziah, who started out as a teenager. He was responsible for several inventions and technological transformations of Judah. The Bible specifically says that he was marvelously helped of the Lord until he became strong. 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 15. Isn't this and more what we have today in the Holy Spirit that lives in us? He's your helper. Is there anything you're trying to achieve? Or are you experiencing some form of trouble? There's supernatural help available for you. The Holy Spirit is in you to help you in ministry, in business, in your finances and relationships. He'll move trouble away from you just as he moved Joseph's enemies away. He'll give you creative ideas that will make your name spread abroad. You are not disadvantaged in any way. The helper is in you. And that's the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Holy Spirit, I acknowledge you as my helper. You're always with me and in me. You are my refuge and strength. I'm yielded to you to be led guided, strengthened, and taught the things of the kingdom of God. I'm rightly positioned in the center of God's perfect will. Because I'm under your influence and sway every day of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. For further study, please read John chapter 14, verse 16 of the Amplified Classic. And Romans chapter 8, verse 26 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 to 51, and Exodus chapter 28. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 12, verses 22 to 30, and Genesis chapter 35. Rhapsody of reality.